Putin has plan of attack on Baltic nations from the territory of Belarus on his table. If the Russian leadership really decides to launch any military operation against NATO member states, I am 90% sure that it will start from the territory of Belarus and with the direct participation of Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko. Petro Oleschuk, a Ukrainian political scientist and professor at Taras Shevchenko National University of Kyiv, said this in an interview with Charter 97 media outlet. According to him, to use Lukashenko as a proxy in the conduct of such a war, to immediately try to make the war limited so that it does not carry increased threats to President Vladimir Putin, but on the other hand, it allows to carry out certain tasks. He spoke about possible tasks breaking through the Suwaki corridor to the Kaliningrad region. Again, this is not the final task. I have been saying for a long time that it is necessary to consider the scenario of Russia's attack on NATO member states not to capture but to show the weakness of the alliance, that there will not be a quick reaction. I am sure that Russia considers such a scenario. The Russian leadership considers this since they believe that NATO is showing weakness and their own forces are growing. I think Putin has a plan for such an attack on his table and Lukashenko will be strongly involved, the expert added. Petro Oleschuk says that the task of such operations most likely consists of simply testing the scale of the reaction. We already see, for example, that Russian missiles and drones get into the territory of NATO member states. The last drone flew deep into Romania for 20 kilometers. I think it will continue. I do not expect that one day the Russian horde will go to the territory of Lithuania. Everything will be simpler. At first, rockets will accidentally start flying. Then they will start flying farther and farther. Then they will try to send sabotage reconnaissance groups and they will be followed by incomprehensible breakthroughs of incomprehensible migrants, terrorist attacks and cyber attacks. When they carry out all this and there is no serious reaction from NATO, it will be possible to try larger but limited military actions, the expert added. Ukrainian troops have prevented another attack by the invading Russian army near Terny village in the direction of Lyman city in eastern Donetsk region. Artillery strikes were launched against the invaders who sought to advance with a convoy of tanks and other armored combat vehicles. As a result, the vehicles and manpower in the column were destroyed. A few surviving infantrymen tried to escape. It should be noted that Russian troops have stepped up attacks in Donetsk region in recent days. A convoy of 36 tanks and 12 infantry fighting vehicles of the Russian army advancing in the direction of Toninkoi village near Avdiivka city was destroyed by Ukrainian fighters. In addition, Russian troops launched an attack with armored vehicles near the village of Novo Mikhailovka. As a result, the vehicles in the convoy were destroyed, and the attack was prevented.